Okay, so I've heard a few people are having quite a bit of trouble with getting Gold Lewis's pressure actually going. So we know he's supposed to be a big body character with, you know, great pressure and mix-ups and all these guard break behemoth typhoons and stuff. A lot of the people are having trouble even when they get in on capitalizing on getting in and actually getting his pressure stuff going. And I think that comes down to which behemoth typhoons you're actually using. So obviously this one is the easiest to input and this one, but they're not really the most useful. The Behemoth Typhoon, you've got to make sure you use the most, and I don't see nearly enough people using it as their main Behemoth Typhoon. It's the Forward Up Back Behemoth Typhoon. Because this one, unlike the Forward Down Back Behemoth Typhoon, as you can see after I do something like this, that Behemoth Typhoon sends him so far away it's so hard to get Oki. But if I do the Forward, the forward Up Back, he's left right in front of me and I can get Oki and Pressure going way far more easily if I don't screw it up the hell up. And uh, yeah, it just leaves them way closer, you gotta make sure you're doing it. Because these Behemoth Typhoons are really good because they leave the opponent in a hard knockdown state, so you get time to run up and go for your close slash or your heavy slash and get that counter hit if they press buttons on wake up. But um, yeah, and you can go for your Oki if you go for throws, or if you do this Behemoth Typhoon, you can you know, try and get like a cross up like jump heavy slash uh, something like that if you timed it better but yeah basically just instead of using this behemoth typhoon use this behemoth typhoon obviously it's a lot harder to input in neutral um, so if you're just trying to throw out a behemoth typhoon you can still use this one but if you're ever just pressing out a button like doing your fast slash into a behemoth typhoon you want to use this one it's just way better to end your combos with because it relieves them so much closer it has a better hitbox because it goes into the air, so it can work as an anti-air as well. And it's also far better in combos because it leaves the opponent a lot closer. You can get your PRC combos instead of your red RC. So you can get combos going like this. Um, yeah, like that. Whoa! Yikes! Damage! So yeah, you can get PRC combos, which do a lot more damage than red RC combos, because the red RC burst bubble um, actually scales the damage a bit more. So if you use this one in combos, you can do a PRC, and that lets you get way more damage than you would if you did with doing um, like this one into red RC. And it's also just a lot more consistent because it doesn't send them flying away. So yeah, use this Behemoth Typhoon, please, 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 please. It'll make your gameplay so much better. You can go in for throws, you can go for mix-ups, you can go in for plus one block stuff. Like, you get better Oki, it's just far better. And the next thing, I... Like, because there's so many Behemoth Typhoons, I can get why people would be confused as to which ones to use. So, you use this one the most, and the next two most important ones that you should use, and like, make sure you have in the back of your head when you're playing with Gold Lewis, is use the overhead, and use the low. So the overhead is back up forward, so the opposite of the one that we want to use the most, and it leads to a big combo. Or a very easy combo, I should say, because like, you can just like do like something like this super easily. I don't know his optimal combos, um, but like if you like mix the opponent up and you go for it, you can go for something like this. That was definitely not optimal, but it did a lot of damage, and you can combo off of it super easily. Like depending on how close you hit it as well, you can even like get close slash and get like those combos going. And you can basically always hit your crouching slash. And the other one, the low, is up, back, down, heavy slash. And this behemoth back boom, you can also combo off of. Um, you can combo off of it with the kicks pretty easily, and you can get heavy slash, but it's a little bit tight. I mean, you can get crouching slash. Like there. But um, I usually just go for the kicks because it's a little bit easier. And you can combo off it super easily. And both of these behemoth typhoons not only do they lead to combos, but they lead to being very hella plus on block. They are crazy, crazy plus on block. I think like plus 14 or plus 16, depending on which one you use and when they hit. So they're crazy good. So if you notice that your opponent is blocking your stuff, don't just go for this one automatically, because this one is safe, but it's not actually plus on block. You want to make sure if you notice your opponent is blocking, you go into... Here, how do I make Kai block? You see your opponent's blocking? Uh... Don't press buttons, please. Um, yeah, so 
when they're blocking, you want to make sure you go for an overhead that is hella plus on block. Or you want to make sure you go for a low that is hella plus on block. And if they don't block it, because you know it's an overhead low mix up, you get a combo from it. And you're probably going to do the same thing anyways. So like if you, you're not sure if, it if they blocked it or not, you can always just go for your crouching kick. And depending on how close you are, like with this one, it, okay, it doesn't hit. <laughs> But if they get hit by it, you get a combo. If they block it, you're hella plus. And off of like the low one, you can like get your close slash or a crouching heavy slash. Or you can get your crouching slash, maybe even your standing kick. Yeah, you can get that, depending on how close you are. Um, you can definitely get your fast slash. And the same goes for the overhead, depending on how close you hit it, you can get your fast slash or your crouching slash. It launches them a bit further away though, so your options are kind of limited to doing your slashes or like another Behemoth Typhoon. Because like, that Behemoth Typhoon is very quick. And look how much of their he health bar you just melted from doing that. Two Behemoth Typhoons and they took like a few, like a little combo. So yeah, make sure you're using these Behemoth Typhoons. And if you are being responsible and following what I was saying, then if you were using this Behemoth Typhoon to leave them very close to you, then you're going to be getting, like, very easy OP. So if the opponent was blocking, like, on Wake Up after I get something like this, and, you know, I didn't want to spend meter for the combo, I can get my OP super easily, go for the overhead, go for the low, go for whatever I want. And you get your crazy Gold Lewis pressure. Obviously, he has far more tools that you can use to get his pressure going and use stuff at different distances, but it was just about the... Um, the behemoth typhoons you have to be using to make your pressure a lot better. But anyways, thanks for watching this quick video, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you 